Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will learn another important concept in Java which is an error. It is no class def found error. If you remember in our previous video we have seen what was class not found exception. Both of these seem same but actually they are not. The one we have already discussed is an exception but the one we are going to discuss today is an error. Although one is caused by the other that we will see when we have the coding session in detail. Now let's see when this error will be thrown by JVM. A no class dev found error occurs when JVM or the class loader is unable to find a particular class that was available during the compilation but is not present during the runtime. From the definition, it may seem same as class not found exception, but actually it is not. Suppose you have two classes where one is dependent on another. So when you compile the classes, then at compile time, the dependent class is available. So the main class will also compile successfully. But suppose during the runtime that dependent class is moved from the class path or deleted. So in that scenario, no class def found error will be thrown. Now let's check some common reasons for this error and how we can fix them. First is class path issue. The class path is actually nothing but a list of directories or jar files that JVM searches for classes. If a class is missing from the class path, then JVM cannot find it. To fix this issue, you can ensure that a class path is correctly set up, including required directories or jar files. Make sure that the jar files containing the required classes are present in the specified directories or included in the class path. If your code depends on external libraries or modules, but those dependencies are not available during the runtime, then a no class def found error can be thrown. Another reason could be compilation and runtime environment mismatch. If the code is compiled with a different version of library than the one which is available at the runtime, it can result in a no class def found error. In such cases, we need to make sure that the compilation environment and runtime environment are in sync. If the jar file containing the required classes are corrupted or incomplete, the JVM may fail to load the classes. In this case, we need to check the integrity of jar files and verify that they are not corrupted. You may need to replace them with the valid copies if they are already corrupted. If you have made any changes in the code or configuration, remember to restart your application or redeploy it after that to ensure that the new configuration takes effect. Other than these, if you are using custom class loaders, they may not be able to locate the required classes. So to address that particular problem, we need to ensure that our custom class loader is correctly implemented and has access to the all required classes. In the end, it is always helpful to carefully examine the stack trace provided with the no class def found error. It will give you more information about the specific class that was not found and can aid in diagnosing and fixing the particular issue. Now in today's coding session, we will see the examples of both class not found exception and no class def found error. Before we move to the coding session, if you find this video useful, please give us a like that encourages me to create better content every time. So let's move to the coding session to demo both the exception and error with examples. So in today's coding session, we will not use any IDE, but we'll only use command line interface for compiling and execution of the program. So in this, we will see how we can compile and run Java programs through command line interface. And we'll also see if we want to print some more debug level details during the execution and compilation using verbose command. So without any further delay, let's start. Now uh, I have already created a couple of folders here. One is for a class not found exception and other one is for no class defined error. Now let's go to class not found exception. And if we see here, we only have the source file of myservice.java. Now let's try to see what is the content of this particular class. So this is a very simple class with one main method and where we are printing welcome lazy programmer. So now let's see how we can compile a Java source code and convert it into 
a bytecode which is dot class file so for that we have java compiler which is java c so if java is already installed on your system and added into the required path and if you type only java c in the command line you will see output something like this that means java is already installed and configured and it will tell you how to properly use it so here we have java c then we can provide options and after that we need to provide the source file okay so without any uh, extra details what i will do java c and after that my source file which is my service.java it will convert this java source file into a dot class file dot class file is nothing but a bytecode which will be running in jre so if i do ls here now we can see there are two different files earlier there was only one so my service dot class file has been created after the compilation now how we can run this class so for that we have very simple command which is java space and after that we need to provide name of the class so here that this thing you need to notice very carefully we don't have to provide the file name but the class name so if we see what is the class name in that let me uh, once again show the content so in my service the class name is my service only so we will not provide my service dot java or my service dot class so while running we will provide java my service that's it what it will do it will check if my service class is present in the class path or in the current directory then it will load it into the memory and execute it okay so as we already have dot class file present in this particular folder so it will load that and you can see welcome lazy programmer is printed so now everything is fine this is a happy scenario and suppose due to some reasons or some other operations this dot class file got moved out of here to some other location or let's say deleted itself okay so let's remove this my service dot class so i am removing it now in my current directory only i am having my service dot java and this class file is not present in any of the other class path directories as well so if i try to run this particular class now what will happen this should result in an exception which is class not found exception here you can see so could not find or load the main class my service and the reason is caused by class not found exception and which class is not found my service because this is the class we are trying to execute if we want to see in more detail what we can do we can use hyphen verbose options while executing or compiling as well okay so let's try to use that so you see it has started loading a lot of files because our runtime environment has to be set up for that a lot of uh, classes or objects needs to be created so that is what it is doing and in the end if you see here it is trying to load this particular class and is not able to find it at this point it has raised an exception and after that jvm is shut down so how we can fix it so we can fix it by uh, getting the dot class file again out of the source file by compiling it and placing it in the class path itself so let's try to do that so now with the compilation also i will use uh, verbose option so that we can see the complete detail okay so here you can see what all operations that it has done so let me go on top a little bit so here you can see it has started parsing the simple file object which is my service.java and after that it has started loading the few modules which are required for the compilation and once it has started checking the my service it will start uh, loading few more modules like serializable auto closable system class and as i am using system.out.println so the required classes which is system print stream all these classes are loaded and compiled with the main source and once everything is done it will write the bytecode to my service dot class if we see in this folder now my service dot class is available now let me execute this class once again with the verbose option so we will see what all classes it's trying to load so now i'm executing it so here again you can see it started loading so it's a class and operation is load so it is loading all these classes for preparing the runtime for java application to execute and in the end if you see uh, here itself it has loaded this particular class as well from the source so source is nothing but a file which is present in this location 
okay so once it is loaded then the execution is done and welcome lazy programmer is printed so here you can see how the class not found exception has occurred and how we have fixed it now let's move to the second concept which is no class def found error we have two different classes let me print the content of both these classes so here we have one class which is another service it is having one constructor which is printing that we have loaded the dependency that means its object is created and we have the main class which is my service which is it is having a main method and inside that one syso statement is there which is loading dependency and in the second statement we have a created object of another service so here you can see my service is dependent on another service so when we compile my service both the classes will be compiled and linked together and as we remember no class def found error occurs when a class is present during compile time but not present at the runtime so let's try to demonstrate that so i am compiling my service class so after compilation of my service if i check the content of this folder we have two different dot class files created one is my service another one is another service dot class so both of these are linked like my service will have instance of another service or linking to this class so if i try to execute this my service class now i will be able to see the complete output loading dependency and loaded dependency so till this point it is fine because again this is a happy scenario now suppose for some reasons another service class is removed or deleted okay now what we have we only have my service dot class but this class is linked to another service dot class as well which is not present now so if we try to execute my service now then what will happen so it will result to an into an error which is no class def found error and which class definition it is looking for another service and its main reason is class not found exception so in the beginning of the video i have already said that one is the reason for another so in this case no class def found error has been raised due to because you can see it is caused by class not found exception so how it can be fixed again we need to make sure that the classes which are linked together they should be accessible or present at the time of runtime as well so again what we can do we can uh, compile my service dot uh, java again what it will do it will see what all dependencies that this class is having and it will compile them as well but uh, we can do directly uh, compile the another service as well and that will result into a uh, bytecode creation of another service and during the runtime my service class will be able to find the bytecode of another service which it is linked to and it will execute successfully so now let's compile another service and with that we can see we have uh, another service dot class file created and if i try to run my service now it will work perfectly fine so that's it for uh, both of these concepts so if you like the way this concept has been explained please do give us a like and uh, share it with your dev community and thank you so much for watching keep learning